Hello everyone. Today I will talk about how to use terminals in Vim. Uh, the first way you prob probably wouldn't want to use it is to use the uh, exclamation point and then followed by the shell command. It works, but it's very bad user experience. For example, you can do uh, exclamation PWD, and then it will tell you where you are now. And then if you enter again, you go back to Vim. It's not very nice to use this this way. The second way is to do a uh, terminal, which will open up a new terminal, and then it just behaves like a terminal. One useful feature is to uh, escape from this. But the normal escape wouldn't work. You have to do the special way, which is uh, this combination is control slash control n then it will be effectively escaping and now uh, i defined uh, alias in the vim uh, rc so if i do escape then it will effectively uh, do that com key combination and now i escaped then it becomes like a vim section so you can do visual selections or multiple line selections and you can do search which is quite useful, especially if you want to copy something and then paste it to the other one. Okay, now if you want to go back to the terminal section, you just do say insert. Now you're back into the terminal section. And then uh, you can use the uh, control W, control W to go back and forth if you're in the insert mode. If you're already in this mode, then I mean you can use your other way to switch windows. It's just like a window. Okay, and if you copy there, you can just paste it here, which is quite useful. Okay, uh, so let me show you. Let me show you my VimRC where I defined this key binding. Uh, yeah, it's this line. So the T, uh, no remap. Here you can see I map the ex uh, e escape key to this combination. And uh, this T, the one that started with T means uh, this is defined in the terminal mode. So when you're in the terminal, you can do this. Also, another minor thing is uh, if you want to do a vertical terminal, you can do vertical terminal but you don't need to type the whole thing i think you can just type this and then that opens up a vertical uh, terminal okay so this is pretty nice but uh, it can be even nicer and that will be this uh, uh, vim plugin let me show you uh, this one has a lot of stars, and it actually has a lot of functions. You can go there to see yourself. Let me just show you some uh, basic usages. So, so when you are in here, you can say uh, float float term new. Then it will create a new terminal right in the middle. So you can just do things right here which is much nicer. So if you don't want to use it anymore, you have two choices. One is you just exit, and then that just uh, disappears. And next time you want to trigger it again, you can just um, bring it up again. So I have some key bindings to bring this up. Another nice thing is uh, uh, you don't have to close it. You can just uh, put it as uh, off the, off the uh, focus. So you can just toggle it away. Uh, so now it's gone, but it's actually still uh, running. So if you toggle it again, you can see you still have exactly the same terminal. So here I define this key binding uh, leader H, which is here. So it toggles this uh, uh, this float terminal. So if you don't have any terminal to start with before, it will just uh, create a new one for you. And if you just use this float term new, it will always create a new one. So you can actually have many new ones, and then you can control which one to go to. 
usually I don't make things so complicated. I, I just have one terminal there. Okay, there are also nice things uh, about this uh, flow terminal. So one minor thing is, uh, so, so right now you have a terminal. Let's say, let's go to uh, uh, download. So let's say you wanna uh, edit some file. So if you do just vim, it actually brings up a new vim. So this vim has nothing to do with the vim outside of this terminal, which is not, not very nice. So one way to uh, reuse the one outside is to say float term. So it's like it's like calling the outside vim. So when you do that, you can see it. Br it due to my setting, I bring up uh, another window which is uh, a vertical split. So this is this is actually set here. By default, I think it's a horizontal split, which I don't really like. Okay, so this is one way to reuse the same VM outside. Uh, it actually has even easier way to do that. So suppose when you call the this triggering command, you can say you can put in another tool there. For example, VIFM. So now it brings up VIFM. So if I open any file here. It will actually use the Vim directly. So this is because when I trigger it, I tell it uh, I want to wrap around that program with the outside Vim. You can see uh, from the website, there are actually a lot of those so-called wrappers. Uh, it's in this advanced topic. You can use it with git, with fzf, uh, ring gra rip grab, and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, lf, python. So you can see whether you like to use all these uh, functionalities. Okay, I think uh, that's all for today. Oh, maybe I didn't explain this one very well. So when you are in the terminal, escape doesn't work, but uh, this key combination effectively bring you into the normal mode, no matter which mode you are in. So that's why I use this. Uh, I can still go back to the normal mode. And when I'm in the normal mode, everything will behave like Vim. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.